everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me today on what I feel is uh, a supercar. You say, Tony, come on, come on. I mean, aren't Aventadors and, uh, you know, uh, LMO02s and those kinds of things supercars? And I say, yes, of course they're supercars. However, everybody already knows they're supercars, so they're uh, already in their own category. A car like this is super, super rare. You say, Tony, it's a BMW 320. They made millions of these things. Yeah, well, maybe millions over many years, but they made very few of this example. And this is a 320 with a factory six cylinder in it. It's telling a six cylinder, never heard of it, never seen it. You know what's so funny? Either had I. This was traded in here. I didn't even know this car existed because it's not a US spec car. You couldn't even get it here. But the fact of the matter is they made it in Europe. They made a few of them, not a ton of them. And there's only a few of these in the country. And that's why I call it a supercar and a collector car. Not to mention, we're gonna meter this thing so you can see it's almost all original paint, ridiculously low miles, driven less than 2,000 miles a year. It's so clean that it, the paint is still in the wheel wells. The factory paint is still in the wheel wells. Amazing. Anyway, uh, let's move on and we'll check out some of the other great things about it. All right, so how do you know if you have a low mileage original, right? People say, oh yeah, it's original paint, it's original interior, it's original this, original that. Prove it. Oh, well, I have a title that says this is original miles. That's not enough for me, and I'll tell you why, because you can go to the DMV or the MVA, whatever it's called, check off original miles on the title application there, and they give you an original miles title. Unfair. <clears throat> Wrong. What we like to do is this. We like to meter the paint. This is an electronic meter. It measures the thickness of the paint. Around this whole car we've gone and we've measured it. You can hear it beep every panel. All staying within consistency. Almost all of this paint, almost all of it, is all original. Chamonix, white paint. Chamonix, white paint. Chamonix, however you want to say it. I'm sure I've butchered it. It's probably better if I did it in French. I don't speak French, but I could pretend to do that and embarrass myself even more. But anyway, the point of the matter is, this is the factory color. This is uh, the factory blue interior, which is pretty rare to get with as well. And the interior is beautiful. Wait till we get inside there. And you can see the reflection on this car. You can see the paint inside the wheel wells there. Uh, the original factory wheels are on here. Like this car, I don't know how this car was so well taken care of. Quite honestly, and I'm gonna embarrass myself right now, is I don't think I could take care of a car if I bought this brand new like this. Uh, uh, from 79. We're doing this in 2023, right? We're uh, at the 50-ish year mark, somewhere right around in that eight. And it's like, wow, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so real quick, uh, don't challenge the math skills. I didn't wanna get into all that because I was too busy talking about the paint. And I wanted you to see the reflection in that so you could see uh, how nice that factory paint is. All right, when you're talking about cars that are 45 to 50 years old, right, a car like this here, uh, and you say, well, those cars really didn't have a lot of power back then. Well, I might challenge you to come check this out for a second. This is pretty freaking cool. And I'm gonna tell you why a lot of it is cool. Forget the fact that, no, that is important. The six cylinder is wedged in here. Even the early M cars didn't have six cylinders like this, right? They were uh, super high performance four cylinders. Here, we have a factory six cylinder in here, okay? And then more importantly, we have all this originality. We have original decals all around underneath the hood that you can't buy anywhere. They would only come from the factory. The original hood liner is still in here for the insulation. The paint code, the Shamonix, Shamone? Shamone. Uh, paint code is still here. The fender tag is still here. The VIN number is still uh, etched into the body here. Why is that important? Because if this car was an accident, all of these decals and stickers would have been replaced, but the simple matter is they're still here in place, which is really freaking cool, man. This is a piece of history 45 plus years later. And just, uh, if you went to a car show, do you know how few people have ever seen anything like this, a factory six cylinder car in a three series? Almost no one. And then beautiful, nice fit and finish of the BMW and voila. All right, so the styling on these cars from the rear is still great. Nine times out of 10, everyone will know that this is a BMW, even if you took this, uh, that round L off. However, uh, what I like so much about this is its originality and I wanna keep going with it because when I say pieces of history, this is what I'm talking about. So for instance, like this has, 
Uh, the original uh, set was the first aid kit. This was not original, but this is for when you were changing the tire so you had a vest to be safe, right? And then inside here, uh, under here is the spare tire. And more importantly, this right here, and these bring big money on eBay, is the full toolkit. Factory toolkit is still in place here. Like this is the detail stuff, man. This stuff that, that when it's original, it's only original once, right? And then when you get to this place where you can, can have some piece of history like this, it just excites me. You know, we see beautifully restored cars all the time and I love those. <laughs> Lastly, here's this. This is a BMW and this is what you get. Like, listen to that. It's not a tinny trunk lid. This is a well-built, solid, solid car. Hence why BMW is, uh, in the United States right now, is the number one luxury automaker. All right, so you walk up to this and you say, wow, this is cool, because most people will not know. When you go to a car show and you open the hood, it is a huge conversation maker. However, I would love to say get a sign, right, that you could take to a car show to talk about the originality of the car and where we're going right now, and that's inside, because inside here, the interior, is some kind of great. Like, like, I just like to point out that, that 45 years later, as I try to figure out how to uh, get out, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the fabric of this. This is all original fabric, original carpet, original dash, original headliner, right? Uh, the steering wheel is in incredible shape. Like, who takes care of a car this well? I, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say I could, I could never do that. I could never do that. But the fentanyl matter is it doesn't matter because this is going to be your car, and your car has a five-speed. It has a six-cylinder. It has a 220-kilometer-hour speedometer, right? 8,000 RPM tech with almost a 7,000 RPM redline for that six in there, right? Nobody else is running a, a six-cylinder up to 7,000 RPM in the 70s other than BMW was, right? An American six-cylinder, maybe four. 4,500, rattle them, maybe a Chrysler 225 slant six, maybe 4,000. Uh, and these were just amazing. Not to mention disc brakes and all the good things that make a BMW. This also has a really nice piece down here. It's called a retro sound system. So it's an upgraded sound system that looks very original, but it has Bluetooth, it has digital, uh, it has all kinds of things. You can also add satellite to it if it doesn't already have it in. I don't know, I don't have it on just to tell you that, but it's cool. But anyway, my point is this, look at the door panels, look at the back seat, look at all of this stuff. The interior quality of here is absolutely spectacular. All right, so we're going to close up the video on the supercar. You say, Tom, come on, it's not a supercar. You can't really call it a supercar. Well, I'm going to tell you what I call it. It's a really super car. And it's super because it's so original. Finding that six cylinder in there with a five speed, not an automatic, makes it pretty rare as well. Uh, I mean, you can look around. The video, the video doesn't lie, man. Pictures can be manipulated, whatever, from people who do that stuff online. Here in the video, we do that for a reason, so you can see this is real, man. We're here, we're bricks and mortar, we're doing this for a living every day, and we have nice stuff. And nice stuff is still nice stuff. Get yourself something nice, man. Don't buy something cheap. You'll end up paying more for it in the long run than getting something like this. And, uh, and now uh, you could be using this and enjoying it uh, this weekend. That's pretty cool. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, six-cylinder BMW. I keep saying six-cylinder because it's the only one I've ever seen. I just think it's so cool. Um, and if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. That helps get our message out. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff all the time. And don't forget to share it with your friends. I think they might like some of the content as well. And I'll see you on the next one.